Hello, hello everybody and welcome back. I am Scalper Hero here with Toucan Studios and I remember um, a tutorial that I was doing but I lost all my videos because my computer was being a, um, a, a fail. Let's just call it a fail. And well I'm going to bring it back because someone actually mentioned it and I am going to bring it back and it's going to go up. It should be up this Monday which would be the 28th. So, I remember saying in that one that it would be a punch that I show you how to do, um, how to animate it and everything, so that is what I'm going to do. Now, as you can see, I've already set up my scene back to the original, how I had it, and we're basically just going to animate him now, so yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> so, make sure, guys, when you're animating, that you have this auto keyframing on because it really does help and if you've got a visual selector that helps too <laughs> anyway so and a punch is like a second long to throw two jabs you know say if you stood like him and you're right back you go right left one after the other right left right left now I'm going to be doing that but I'm only going to be throwing the first punch um, it should take up to it <sighs> It's about one second, mate, sometimes less, depends how fast you're throwing the punch. Now, I'm going to be starting it with a frame 10, that way it's got some speed into it and it looks stronger. So, what I'm going to do is, I am going to go straight out with his arm like so. And then I need to go here, um, then I need to rotate his body back, like Oh crap, like so. And then I will need to rotate his head back. Like that. And let's pick his arm up some more. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I am, I'm doing this way too quick. So, the uh, keys that I'm using to do this are 1, 2, and 3. The number keys. That will help me do this. That's number 1. Number two is this, and number three is to rotate. Um, also, I'm using R, which brings up the rotation tool, and E, which brings up the move tool. Which reminds me, I want to do that. Um, so, yeah. So, I, it, this is going to be a bit quick. I don't want to spend, like, for everyone, just this one punch. So, I'm just going to see what I can do and hopefully we'll get somewhere now I'm going to rotate his foot again because otherwise it looks wrong and then if I go to zero like that hmm his foot is way out of place okay so what about there right, let's move that to zero for a minute and then like so let's have a look at that uh, it needs to go like that, that's why. So it needs to be a bit like that. Bosh, bosh, bosh. See, it's looking better already. And it, it's really the simplest thing. All you got to do is literally rotate the body as you're throwing the punch. So it should end up being something like that. You curve the upper body as you're throwing the punch. You're bringing your arm, your left arm back. So this also is coming down a little bit like that. So. Oh, I'm on 21 frames. Why am I on 21 frames? I don't want to be on 21 frames. Okay. Right. Um, so it's foot moving now. So. I don't want that. I want his foot to stay in place. Like so. Oh, it's F9 to add a keyframe as well. Um, even though I've got auto keyframing on, I still like to add the frames for when I do the in between, so I learn the buttons for that as well. Oh, and this needs to rotate to his right foot. Needs to go back to zero. Like so. Um. Okay, uh, I'm going to 
cut this down a bit actually. So let's go to 30 frames like that. That way it's not going to take so long to go through it. And there is the first motion of a punch. Now the way I do my motions on how to do a fight, it's actually pretty simple. All you gotta do is record yourself or find a recording of a fight scene and you should be able to pick up the timing on how long it takes. So if I move that there a minute, um, move that across, because that's a bit out of place now. Uh, take that out, go there, rotation. Zero. Is that, is that it? Nope. Okay, so it needs to go very along. There we go. Aha! Yeah, I see. That's better. That's a lot better. But I do need this to be on. 30 when he stood like that. Whoa, wrong way. Minus 30. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's just have a look at that. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that looks good. I say that looks good. That looks real good. Alright. So, now that we've got that, Basically, all we need is this, this, copy, and then go to 20. But if you did 15 frames, then go to 30. You always want to double it on, that one, on this one. Okay, like that. And now, there we go. You've got a punch animation. Now there are ways of making it look stronger as well, so when he comes here, he could um, move forward, like so. There you go. See, now that actually <laughs> looks pretty good. <laughs> okay. I will be getting on to the more difficult stuff very soon. Um, it's just that at the moment I'm really busy with my uh, my gaming channel and this channel as well. Uh, I'm kind of out of place at the moment. So I'm just going to do a few more things. And to be honest, that actually really does look good. Okay. And obviously, I, I like my guy to smile. <laughs> I think I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Anyway. Alright, so that's that, basically. That is the punch. Now, when you come back on your right arm, you can actually send your left forward. Um, you know, as in a walk cycle. Um, hold on. <coughs> Pardon. Excuse me. In a walk cycle, when you're lifting your leg up to go forward, uh, in the centre, your arms are in the centre together. Well, when your right fist is coming back, in the middle, you could have your left going forward. So, it's a constant remover. It's the same thing, except that it's just with your left hand. <sighs> okay. I'm not actually going to do the left hand now because I don't actually think I have time, I'm afraid. But I hope that this tutorial was a big help. Oh, I don't want that. Uh, something looks wrong to me. Okay, so if we rotate that like so, that should be awesome. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, man. So, yeah. I think next tutorial it will have to be a... Um, some flips or something. I'm not sure yet, but it might actually be a kick. 
I think I might do the kick first, then do the flips, and then um, running starts instead of a stance. And it will just get more and more complicated as we go along. That way I can keep up and keep track of what I'm already done and what I haven't done yet. So, I hope this tutorial helped. Please leave a like, please comment and tell me your opinion. Um, if you want me to do any other tutorials for Cinema 4D and Minecraft animation, then let me know. I'm still trying to learn something else with Minecraft animation at the moment because um, there's something I really want to do, but I can't because I can't animate the thing that I want to animate. So, thanks for coming guys. Please leave a comment, share the video, and peace out.